for everybody following the um, disaster of the fan on this thing. Turned out it was the blower motor, it was seized up. So I disconnected it. And I got a new one. <clears throat> and it's uh, 3 5 16 little screws that hold it in here. Like that. Uh, let me get it out. I've only got, got one hand here. Let me get it out and on the bench and I'll show you what's going on inside. Well, bench, table saw, whatever. This one is a little stiff. I got it running. I, I freed it up, but uh, when I ran it, the bearing got hot, and it started smoking. <coughs> so I had another one. I had one out of my Jeep. It came with the Jeep. This is how they're supposed to supposed to keep going. And I'm thinking, oh, it's got three points of contact. I'll just shove that in there, right? Went to shove it in the hole, and unfortunately that close. It's that much too big. It won't go in the hole. So I had to buy one. So I just got that. I ordered it yesterday. I was supposed to get it yesterday. And they didn't send me an email. It's got a plug. It looks like it's the same plug that's on there. It's got the... I guess that must be the clip for the squirrel cage fan. This is a new one, and uh, it's looking promising. So to get these off, if anybody's curious, there's a little spring clip in here. You, you grab it and hope and pray it doesn't shoot across the room. So I tried taking this off yesterday, and I couldn't get it. So hung up on the end, so I'm going to try a little harder today. I'm going to do it off camera because it was a pain in the ass. But yeah, this... Uh, <clears throat> the, you squeeze it, the pliers slip, it goes boing, and then you go look for it for an hour and a half. But yeah, this, that's how that comes off. It just pulls off up, up the top, and then uh, when I get it off, we'll, we'll put it back on the other one. The reenactment. What I did, it wasn't easy. I put this in the vise, like that, to get that last little bit off. Then I took the punch, put it in the hole, Took the hammer. It took quite a bit to get that off. I'm really surprised it didn't break it. But I didn't. I guess now we uh, clean it up and put it on this one. It's keyed. Should be a flat spot on here somewhere. I'm going to have to hammer that one on too. That is a tight fit. Alright, let me get this. I want to clean this up first. I don't want 40 years of gook blowing in my face. Here's that little clip. You put it on and squeeze it and you push down and you hope before it slips off it goes on the plastic. Much better. Now, this one had the plug in the end. This one must be universal. You could look at the instructions, but that's no fun. We do need to get the polarity right, though. So. We're just going to take a stab here. If it goes backwards, we'll change it. See how good of a guesser I am. I don't want to go in. That one went in. There we go. 
Insta installation is. Uh... Well, if you, if you can't put three screws back in and you're trying to learn how to fix your car, uh, you might want to go back to basics first. Well, I was able to find them. You can see it in there or not. I was able to find the resistor. We'll deal with that later. But uh, let's go see if these leaves out of here. Let's go see if this had any effect. See if it's blowing the right way. Okay, the moment of truth. Key on. It's blowing stuff. Man, there's a lot of junk in there, huh? I wonder how long that's been broken. Ooh. The resistor's good. The switch is good. The resistor's good. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Happy camper. Okay, now we've got form of heat. I wonder what that was for. I'll tell you, there's some weird things on here. Next thing we got to do is get that squirter thing out and make that work. Uh, that can wait. At least now we have heat so we can drive, drive around in it. That's a wrap. <laughs>